Hi guys, so the other first impressions review I'm doing today is Nargesi by The Spirit of Dubai. So if you've been like watching me for a while now, you will know that I got the, is it 5ml or 7ml? I can never remember, it's 5. I got the 5ml sample from The Spirit of Dubai for this wonderful, wonderful perfume that I've always been so, so, so tempted to, um, I have a full bottle in my collection, but this is pretty good as well and reasonably, reasonably, blah, blah, sorry, reasonably priced. Um, it is a bit expensive, obviously, for a 5ml, but like the original 100ml bottle, I think it's 100ml, but obviously the fuller bottle is like over a thousand pounds. So yeah, if you're like me, you know, you'll just go for this. Now, Jessie was launched in 2017 with an incredible price of over 1,000 pounds. This is a super, super complex fragrance and one of the most expensivest in the collection. So the inspiration comes from the Black Rose, which itself is extremely rare. But this doesn't have any Black Rose in it itself. Instead, it's got like lots of other roses. In the top notes, you've got like Rose, Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, May Rose, Oud, Saffron, Bergamot, Sweet Orange, Aldehydes, Pink Pepper, Fruity Notes, dried fruits, a lemmy, green leaves, um, coffee and spices like cardamom. So this fragrance has a lot of notes. I think there's like over 30 or 35 notes in this fragrance and I am going to go through all of them. So I've just told you the top notes and then in the mid notes you've got like safe rose, honey, sandalwood, vetiver, benzoin, chamomile, vanilla, ginger, cypriol oil, coriander and patchouli. And then in the base you've got civet, sandalwood, sponge sugar, amber, incest, moss, Animal notes, as quoted on Fragrantica, oak moss, leather, and castorium. So when I saw on Fragrantica, it said animal notes. I kind of um, got the vibes that they probably meant animalic notes, but because it said animal notes, I thought, okay, let's just contact them directly and just get clarified what they mean by that. So when I contacted the Spirit of Dubai, um, they also said that their ingredients follow international and UAE standards and you know, you're not allowed to use animal-based ingredients in perfumes, so that was reassuring. Obviously they confirmed what that meant was, is animalic notes and not animal-based notes. So I just wanted to like clarify that with the, the scent. I sprayed it on both my skin and the blotter and it was the most heart-wrenching spray because of course every spray with this is incredibly precious. I mean, it's only 5ml. I can't see how much is left in there, unfortunately. I'll, I'll show you how it is. So you take the... um. You take the cap off and that's how it is. So you've got like a little atomizer inside a plastic bottle and then you've got the name of the brand and then the name of the fragrance is on the cap. So I can't see how much is actually in there but I used it so many times just to get my first impressions. I sprayed it on my skin and a blotter. So I'm definitely not going to spray it now because this is like one of the most precious fragrances I've got in my collection. When I first sprayed it, like in the air, it feels like a rose syrupy type of scent. But then it starts to become super complex. On my skin, I get like rose, hints of oud, saffron, tea leaves, which isn't mentioned. Uh, but also like sweet orange, pink pepper and hints of cardamom. There was just so much going on in this fragrance at the start that you'll just keep sniffing it to identify like what you're smelling. Overall, it's beautiful. It's not your typical rose fragrance, although rose is the more dominant note get like some green vibes to it at the start. And I can proudly say that this smells better on me than it does on my husband because if you've seen my other videos a lot of the time I've said some fragrances smell better on my husband and recently I've started spraying you know um, sampling things on my son and they smell so nice on him but this smells so much better on me than it does on my husband so I'm proud of that one. In terms of projection I wouldn't call this like beast mode but it's definitely above average it's just not loud like some other fragrances. All this a delicate yet thick rose scent with lots of complexity. But that initial scent lasts like a staggering seven hours itself. And then you move on to a rose scent with hints of like honey, vetiver, ginger, vanilla, all which come out at totally random times. You also get like hints of patchouli, but you know at this point you feel like it's not the end and there is more to come and we're talking like past seven hours now. This isn't a, a full review, but rather my first impressions. This is a very, very complex fragrance which needs time to kind of like understand it and explore it 
and I am worried that I might end up finishing this sample on just reviewing it because just to discover my first impressions I've already sprayed it a lot. I will probably take my time to do a full review on this one um, but as I said I really don't want to use it all up so let's just see how we get with that. So far I'm impressed especially because I absolutely love rose fragrances so you know if you like rose fragrances this is definitely one that you should try. As I said, it's not your typical rose fragrance. It's very, very complex and it's different. It's got so much going on in the fragrance that, you know, you're not just sticking to one scent throughout the whole scent journey. It just keeps changing and it's incredible. Obviously, the lasting power is incredible as well. What I'm interested to know is two things. If somebody said to you that this fragrance was 100% worth it, would you spend over a thousand pounds on it? And the second thing is, if you tried it out and you thought it was 100% worth it, would you spend a thousand pounds on a fragrance? Let me know in the comments box below, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.